we are drilling the last of our spring barley which is actually going into plots there's 12 different plots cultivated three different ways across the field this bottom section has been ploughed and rolled the middle of the field has been cultivated and the top half is literally just uh, sown direct into the bare stubble we have a, a horse disc drill a Clayton drill with tines and discs uh, we have a power hour combination which is a traditional one pass known to farmers which has rotating tines that cultivate the soil and then we will have Green Mount bringing out their Atchison drill which is a very simple box tine drill so that gives us 12 different ways of sowing a crop with the aim to try and work out scientifically and factually and with uh, weighed yields at the end of the year as to which is the most efficient way of establishing it based on cost and also the environmental impact so we're going to get all these fields EC scanned again which is an electronic conductivity test which we've had done before we started the trial three years ago so this is our third year trial third third different crop going on these plots with the same methods of establishment and we'll also sample all the uh, nutrients in the soil again so that when we sample these we will have uh, clear evidence as to whether there's any variation in the quality of the soil based on the cultivation technique this is also important coming to the future of agricultural policy because there's a lot of emphasis on uh, carbon release from working the soil so if we can move the soil less and still have the adequate yield all the better so this is scientifically to try and prove whether it's a good way forward for ourselves as a farm and for neighboring farmers so we'll see how the drills work This drill is those nine rows with two bands in each row, so you get 18 rows of seed. It's a wider spacing compared to a traditional drill, which could have uh, anywhere between 20 and 30 rows of seeds. Uh, essentially, still the same area of seed. Here we've got Green Mount's Simtech drill. It's the last one of the four we're doing today. The most basic of them all, but basic isn't always an issue. Sometimes that's an advantage. It's just literally an open disc, and then your pipe drops the seed down this slot down the bottom. Very simple, no complications, no electronics. Just drive. This wheel at the back helps knit the seed in, and it also turns the mechanism to drop the seed into the pipes. Uh, quite a basic drill, but we'll see, it could be just as effective as any of the rest. But uh, as you can see, it's dried out quite a bit over the weekend, um, and we wanted to make sure we locked in some of the moisture so that uh, the seed had a bit of moisture around it to help it germinate. Because last year it took over three weeks for the uh, spring barley to emerge, whereas in normal seven to ten days, any other year you'd expect to see it up. So let's hope we have enough moisture here to retain that. You can see the variation in some of the drills. Some work the land more than others. I'm just going down here this morning to turn the uh, gas gun back on to keep the crows off it. 
they're lighting on it, trying to eat the seeds just as quick as we were, were sowing them yesterday. So we need to keep that on for a few days now. Not particularly pleasant probably for some of the neighbors, but uh, at the end of the day, we're trying to grow a crop. So we have to keep, keep the seeds in the ground rather than the crows stealing them. section just look at all the activity poking and this isn't actually mainly down initially to looking for grain they're attracted to the extra worms and the extra soil biology in the direct drill plots that's encouraging them to come up to this end of the field crazy but at least that shows that hopefully what we're doing has benefit and merit in how we can make a difference to the soil 